Another thing that makes Windows handhelds different from regular consoles is the TDP. I have to confess I didn't know what TDP was until I started lurking in the IANEO Discord channel. TDP stands for Thermal Design Power, and it is a value that determines how much power the device uses to run certain tasks. Turns out, regular gaming consoles already know how much power they need to play certain games, but with a Windows handheld, you have the option to set that yourself depending on the game you want to play. For example, if you want to play an old NES or Super NES game, you only need 5 watts TDP. That will be enough for 16-bit era games and below. You can also do streaming at 5 TDP, and that way you can maximize battery life because the device is using as little power as possible. If you move up to indie games or Wii emulation, you will start to see a decrease in frame rate, which tells you the games need a higher TDP. No problem since iSpace conveniently lets you adjust the TDP on the fly. You go here, change the TDP to 8 watts, and boom, games start running properly. This will consume more battery, but it's still manageable. Things start getting out of hand when you go up to 12 TDP. Battery life suffers a lot, and the device start getting hotter in the middle section. But you need 12 TDP to play more demanding games. This is all new info for any console player, so it can be a little daunting. But once you get the general idea, it becomes second nature. I don't like my device getting too hot, so a watts TDP is the sweet spot for me. If a game can run at 8 watts, I will just stream it instead. Luckily, streaming works really well on this device, and with that screen, games actually look better than they do on my TV. 